Richard, Sir Richard, good to see you. I'm going to ask you to count down once I put the battery in. Three, two, one, zero. Do you have a life philosophy? I don't have a philosophy of life, if you mean a religious philosophy, a religious faith. But I suppose I do believe in something that is associated with Christianity, which is the notion of loving your neighbour. And of course, loving your neighbour means trying to understand your neighbour, means an act of empathy with your neighbour, which is extraordinarily hard to do. But that's part of the job that I do, is, is trying to present stories that people understand. And through understanding, you get to love people. Uh, and the other thing I believe, which is a sort of, um, uh, a, a, in a sense, is, is a, a moral um, precept, is that um, I believe that every action has its consequence. Do you think we should take moral guidance from films? Or rather, do you think films should give us moral guidance? Uh, I think that all art should have underneath it a sense that uh, it emerges from a society which has, if you like, moral values. So that I find it impossible to think of uh, a good piece of art, a good work of art, which advocates killing your, your fellow man. So in, in that sense, I believe that, uh, that a part of a definition of art is that it has some sort of moral context. You direct musical theatre, you direct theatre, you direct film, you direct TV. If we take just film and theatre, can you tell me what the differences are in directing those? Um, I, I couldn't unless you had considerably more than five <laughs> minutes, but all I can say is that the, the differences are total. Uh, and it's, it's a fallacy to believe that theatre is, is, that film is just kind of filmed theatre with different camera positions. They're absolutely different media and uh, the only thing in common between them is that they both use actors and they both tell stories, but the way in which they use actors and the way in which they tell stories is, is profoundly different and it took me a long time to, to realise that. How democratic are you as a director? Does it have to be done in your way? Um, uh, uh, every, every director will say they're democratic, uh, but of course every director is a benign autocrat. But on the other hand, it's a stupid director who doesn't listen and look and learn from the people he's, he's working with. But it's, it's collaborative and nobody is totally in control. And it's foolish to look for the position of being totally in control because you'd be closing your mind and your eye and your ears to what people have to offer you. Do you find it awkward or difficult giving instructions to very big name actors? Uh, I wouldn't say I do now. I, when I was sort of um, the youngest person in the room as a director, I would feel awed by, by big name actors. Now I feel, well, they're all younger than me anyway. And uh, I think, well, I know something. And, and if they're big name, they, they want to know. They've chosen to work with me. So want to know what I have to offer to help them. What do you think the best quality in an actor is? Uh, I would say intelligence. Intelligence and, and, and wit are crucial. What do you think the worst quality is? Uh, stupidity and uh, stupidity and vanity. You've directed Shakespeare. Do you think Shakespeare will ever become dated? No, I don't. Shakespeare is in the DNA of our language and the DNA of our theatre. And as long as, as people are making theatre in this country, Shakespeare will be uh, inevitably part of not only the DNA, but, but in the arteries of, of, of the anatomy of, of British theatre. Did you always want to be a director? No, no, I didn't. I started as an actor and it took me a few years to realise that I simply wasn't ever going to be good enough to satisfy my own uh, criteria for a, a good actor. So I stopped acting and um, I started directing. It wasn't quite that simple, but that's what happened. Do you have hobbies? Uh, my only hobby is reading and I'm an obsessional reader and a constant reader and voracious reader of all kinds of books. Do you read one book at a time? I'm a gardener too. I'm, I am a gardener. 
No, I, I usually have three or four books on the go. Do you have a favourite film that you haven't directed? Last five seconds. Uh, I would say Jean Renoir's Rules of the Game. Uh, and that <laughs> is it. Thank you. And that Jean <laughs> Renoir is the son of the artist. Yes, yes, he is, and a great, great film director. Incredibly humane and, and witty and skillful. And that, with I think a helicopter overhead, <laughs> is time to finish. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh